Good morning everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and this morning we're going to have a go at painting a floral cake board. So we're going to have a go at covering a cake board. We're going to emboss it and we're going to use the new wonder dust that Carol's got on her shop. And we're going to have a go at painting something that you probably wouldn't associate with this particular flower. Um, we're going to try and twist, turn it around a little bit and think about it in a slightly different way. So we're going to have a go. Um, for those of you that have not seen me before, I'm normally on Sugar and Crumbs at half past six on a Tuesday evening and I'm here at half past eleven on Thursday mornings although I won't be here next Thursday because I'm on holiday again. I say again, I'm not really on holiday again, I'm going away for one night so <laughs> does that count? I'm not sure it does but anyway so I won't be here next Thursday morning um, but I am here on Tuesday evening and so we've been having a look at lots of the uh, wonder dusts that Carol has sent me this week so um, I've tried to pick the ones that she's got in stock although I don't know if I wiped her out on um, Tuesday evening after I did a live uh, painting the handbag which you can see behind me for those of you that missed it actually I need to turn because you know what if I pick this up and then the handle drops off I <laughs> it's found this sort of thing only happens live right there we go da, 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 da. so if you miss this there we go this was the cake that I did on Tuesday evening it's going to a new home later today so look at that how cool is that handbag you can pick up I'm gonna put it down for a second and I'm going to pick it up for a second. It's quite heavy, actually. You'd be surprised how heavy these are. And we painted these. I'm going to put my hand underneath it. We painted these with um, the Wonder Dust again. And we were using, I'm looking now because I can't remember the names. I can't remember anything at the moment, but I can't remember the names of these. Uh, Mulberry Crush was one. And then we used Shimmer Pink. And then the gold one that we used was called Sparkling Gold. And for the observant ones there, I haven't got around to painting the back yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I did do it all but there you go uh, yeah you would laugh if I dropped it I'm sure of that my dad would have a good laugh as well because my dad only seems to tune in when I drop things online so there you go um, but that is um, from Tuesday night so if you missed that I'm going to put it back over here now there we go it's going today anyway it's going off to one of the NHS places today so someone will eat it <laughs> for sure but today we're going to do a cake board and we're going to uh, roll out this sugar paste in a minute we're going to emboss it and then we're going to have a go at using she says now looking around for the other ones um the other ones that are in the set one is called regal purple violet mist <laughs> very nice um glowing bronze and then the other one is the sparkling gold that we used before anyway i have a terrible memory so i have to keep picking these up and looking at them eventually i will just remember what they are you see the sugar flare ones are very lucky because i've had been using sugar flare since i was uh, honestly about eight years old so now i don't have to remember those i just know <laughs> whereas these i haven't learned the names of yet but i will and i will get my head around them and they will probably appear in some of my christmas courses as well because they are very nice i think they're very 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 nice colours and I can see lots of potential with them we just need Carol now to invent some other ones that I want so I'll have to have a word with her won't I and see what I can get from her but that's exactly what we're going to be doing you like my new dress <laughs> Do you know, I look at these lives, honestly, I have to go back and find out what I was wearing on Tuesday night to make sure I don't double up, you see. Now, I haven't put Tuesday night's video onto YouTube yet. I'm a bit behind this week. Um, so I am going to put it on my YouTube channel. If you haven't already followed my YouTube channel, here it is. It's got a very familiar name. It's at Tracy Man Cakes. And on there, you will find all the videos that I've done on Sugar and Crumbs. And you'll also find all the videos that I have done um, on other channels as well. So if you want to catch up on anything and think, oh, I remember her doing that and I really wanted to have a go at doing that cake and I get this a lot so people are always contacting me about they've seen me do something and um and they want to now replicate it but they can't remember where it was on the live it is all on um my youtube channel so pop over there and have a look and what I've done is I've actually listed them all out so you'll be able to see what the project is as well because sometimes that can be a little bit sort of disconcerting you think okay which live is it on so I put a picture of every project I've done so you should be able to go aha that's the bag one or that's the God, I've done so many now even I can't remember what they are so my memory is shocking <laughs> um so there we go but that's uh, good I'm reading all your comments about my clothes <laughs> actually I, I could have done that bag more in color with my dress couldn't I then I could have gone out with that I did actually do that once I must put that post up I actually painted it a bag on one of my um 
Oh, now on one of my classes, so if you go to my school, Tracy Man Cake School, on there there's a, a red and white flower one. I know some of you have bought that class, and that one is um, it was actually my dress. So there is actually a picture of me holding this bag, wearing this dress, and it's quite cool actually. So yeah, if you ever think about doing a bag cake, you can coordinate yourself. You see, I look youthful. Well, I must wear this dress more often then, if it's making me look youthful. <laughs> Oh dear, yeah. I I will I will wear it more often then on the on that basis. So as long as it makes me look about ten years younger, then I'm up for any of that. You see, so that's fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to cover some. Uh, we're going to get some white sugar paste, and we're going to um, knead it in some colour. We're going to knead in. Uh, do you know I've just picked that. I'm pulling faces because you know what it's like. I don't know what anyone's like with these gel colours, but they leak like a sieve. Anyway, we're going to use this one, which is Colour Splash of Violet. So we're going to dye our sugar paste a, like a, a lilac-y colour. And that really helps um, with the Wonder Dusts. When you put the colours underneath, it seems to pick it up better. So that's why I've done it. And it looked very nice. I've already done a little trial, so I already know this looks okay. Weirdly, I've got a gold cake board. Now, the only reason I've got a gold cake board is because that's the size that I've got. And I bought a whole load of them um, ages and ages ago and they're kind of in a cupboard and I thought right so I'm just going to cover it it's kind of irrelevant that it's gold really but anyway I have a gold cake board it's not very big it's a seven inch round the idea with this particular one or what I'm thinking is that um, you will be able to replicate this on a cake board going around the outside edge of a cake um, I think this works really really well um, well that was the idea I had in my mind for you anyway so that's what I'm thinking you will do it's also a good bit of practice so you can sit and you know have a little play with your paint see how you're getting on now it's warmer at the moment and that's one thing I was going to talk about so cocoa butter and heat so um, you've got to treat it like chocolate so what you don't want to do is leave it in the sunlight because obviously it is very warm at the moment and if it does start to melt and you're going to know because it's going to go shiny just don't touch it okay if you start going oh no it's wet all you're going to do is imprint your finger marks all over everything so the best thing you can do is if you've got anything painted in cocoa butter and it's got wet or shiny is remove it from the heat and either just pop it in the fridge for literally five minutes and don't leave it in there all afternoon or just somewhere cool away from the sun and it will reset no problem at all but it will reset if you touch it because then you've got um your finger marks all in it so don't touch it it is the most tempting thing to do because you go i wonder if that's wet oh dear it is and now i've got a great big finger mark right in the middle of what i've painted so don't do that uh, it does sound like i may have done that before doesn't it um so yeah just look after your cocoa butter paintings at the moment just keep an eye on it because it is a lot lot warmer than usual it's going to cool down a tiny bit um next week it's very warm here because i live right um, I live about half an hour away from London, so it is very hot down here at the moment. I've got a new air conditioning unit, but it's a bit loud, so I've <laughs> I don't put it on during the live. So worst case scenario, I will put things in the fridge, um, and then you'll be able to sit. So I'm just getting out some sugar paste. I'm just going to use. Um, I'm just going to call it Saracino. Then it's not. It's Satinara. Really like that paste. I've used it now on quite a few lives, and I do really, really like it. I've just missed a comment, I think, something about green paste. Let me just go back. Somebody asked me, have you got any of the green wonder dust? No, I haven't. Not yet. Not been sent it yet. Um, I asked them to send me what they had in stock because the problem is, is if I then show you all this amazing stuff and then you will go tear and over to sugar and crumbs and start buying it. If it's out of stock, it's a bit frustrating. So I'm hoping that when not only when Carol gets more in stock, but we're going to stock it as well. So we're going to have it on our website because I think it's brilliant. And I sell tons and tons of um uh, dusts as you can imagine because that's what I teach is cake painting so yes um, I'm very much looking forward to being able to stock these lovely dusts and we're going to use them at Christmas and all these things so uh, we just need need it all to get organized and we will be there no it's not as hot as it is yesterday <laughs> uh, yesterday it was very hot today not too bad um i'm a bit of a weather person i'm not a winter person at all so, uh, sorry i'm a winter person i'm not a summer person i i'm not very good in the heat i prefer it to be cold so um yeah it just makes everything so much more difficult doesn't it with cake anyway northern ireland 17 degrees perfect love it that's exactly what i want which is why i'm going on holiday there this year so <laughs> as where I'm heading in September so yeah I'm heading over to Northern Ireland right let's have a look at this colour let's me stop talking away because I'll just be jabbering for ages otherwise right there we go so we have got here just some um, white 
sugar base or satinara and then we've got this color here which i've cleaned up the bottle because it was leaking everywhere i don't really want this that strong i just kind of want it i don't know pale color i guess there we go and then and then what we'll do is we'll just give that a bit of a mix see what we get also see what else is on my table even though i've cleaned it there's all sorts you never know what you're going to get on here let's just make sure that's nothing else i've got this new tablecloth and do you know what i keep scrubbing away at these bits thinking they're marks of dust and they're not <laughs> part of the tablecloth <laughs> um, i'm going to put rush um, for my holiday because that's where my husband's family are from northern ireland so that's where we're going so that's where we're heading to northern ireland we're going via um, well because we're going in the car and because i live oh my goodness me eight hours away from the ferry we're gonna have to stop halfway as well so we will be heading up that way um september time that's the plan anyway at the moment who knows <laughs> so yes that's where i'm going port rush i've been quite a few times actually so um i say my husband is from there so we have relatives or he has relatives to visit right what color am i getting i'm not far off what i want yeah sorry he's warm in another warm place just doesn't help with wedding cakes and things i say all of this and then i'll say in my next post oh i've got air conditioning and i have so I, i'm i'm <laughs> I've got two lots, to be honest. I've got some down in my kitchen and some at my unit because it just makes it impossible to work. I'm just putting a little bit more in. And I want to start recording um, Christmas soon, which I know sounds ridiculous. And it's kind of like you, you're sort of sitting there thinking, surely not. But actually, it's quite a good idea to get it all um, sorted as soon as, soon as I can. Um, and I normally record quite a lot of it in the summer so that's that's the plan anyway i'm going to give it a go and see how we go chilly and overcast in north devon lovely i, I can do with that today we have got cloud but it is also quite warm so it's making everything a little bit more tacky than i would like and obviously it's taking a little bit longer for the cocoa butter to set and it's giving me a workout doing this as well even though it's not that big a piece of sugar paste it's taking a minute or two to get all that dye through if you want to check to see if you've done it all, even if it looks like it is, if you take hold of a knife or a plastic side scraper, cut it in half and then turn it, you'll be able to see in there whether or not it's mixed. It's almost mixed. There's a couple of little bits there, but that's always a really good test. I've done my Christmas <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But if I don't do it, it's not ready in time because obviously it's extremely busy at Christmas and I just want to make sure that we've got all our... Christmas Royal Ices, so I'm doing a Christmas Royal Icing course and there will be more Christmas cake painting for sure and there'll be a little bit of extra Halloween this year as well because I did, we got a Halloween Teddy, he's very nice but we're going to do some other Halloween things this year as well um, so yeah, lots to come, lots to go right, I'm just going to put a bit of icing sugar down there so it doesn't stick to my table so I do this under hot lights as well so I'm not really helping myself here um, okay so let's roll this out. Don't need a huge amount, but I do have an air bubble there, which I don't really want. So I'm just going to pop that just in case it's part of my, ends up on my board. Now, where's my, of course I've tied it up. Of course I have. So therefore I can't find anything. Where's my smedger edger gone? Okay, here we go. I've got one. Right, so we just go round, flatten it all off. It's a nice colour, isn't it? Do be a bit careful with this one. It can be a funny... If you don't put enough in, it looks quite weak. If you put too much in, it, I think it can look a bit muddy. So it's a bit halfway house with this one. Excuse the board. You're not going to see it in a minute, but it's gold. Um, I'm just using up what I've got, really. I don't know why I ended up with all these gold boards, but they're very bright. So please don't rush out and buy gold boards for this. You don't need it. <laughs> it's just what I'm using. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll just pop that over the top like so where's my smidge gone there we go and then yeah all my certificates have gone out i've got one left to go actually which is next to me because i needed to get the ladies address but yeah all the certificates are out so if you're on any of my courses at the moment and you've done uh, cocoa butter floral or i sent three lots out yesterday cocoa butter floral and royal icing I sent a load of certificates out yesterday. Those certificates are my students that have completed everything I've asked them to do. And the, um, so they're 
they're on their way. So if anybody's waiting, they're on their way. Sharon's waiting for her flower one. She's the first person to finish the flower one and she's done a brilliant job. We even put it up on um, Sugar and Crumbs Cake Community page because she did a brilliant job. Yes, Kelly's fine. She's at home doing her Russian at the moment. So she's preparing for a lesson. So Kelly's not in at the moment. She's fine. Right. Okay, so we've covered that. And in a minute you're going to go, oh, that cutter. Yes, that cutter. <laughs> Let's just make sure this gold's not going to show you through. I probably picked the wrong colour board, but never mind. It doesn't matter. There we go. Right. Okay. We all recognise that one, don't we? Sunflower. Brilliant. I thought, yes, this is going to work really well. Uh, what I'm trying to get you to do is to look at this and then think, hold on a minute. Uh, she's using a sunflower cutter, so it's just going to be orange and yellow. No, we're going to make this purple and lilac and gold. So completely different to what it's actually set up for. So we're going to give this a go and do something a little bit different. And we're not just going to put it, um, just going to put some icing sugar on there to make sure it doesn't stick. Um, we're going to not have it in the middle like that we're going to have it half on and half off which is what i was saying about if you were doing boards so if you're going to do a board with this design you can kind of go around the outside edge using this kind of method so i'm just going to press that down so i don't want to press it down too hard and you can see it's clearly hanging off the edge there which is what i want so let's press that down like so and let's see what we've got there we go. Right. It's not quite down in the middle there. So I'm just going to put it back on again. Now, if you need to do that, you'll feel it kind of slot into place. So I'm just going to press that down a bit more, lift it up again. OK, perfect. So we've got a half on, half off the edge there. Then we can come even further off. We're going to kind of do three, I think. So we'll come right down on this one and press that in like so. Don't really want to go too deep, but likewise, you, you need to go deep enough. I'm going to show you what you do if you go too deep. Apart from getting it stuck like me if you take your finger and then just very carefully just go round and round on what you've done you can kind of feel the sugar paste like leveling back up again there you go you'll feel it start to come back up again and it stops you getting too many grooves if you've gone too far like i've done there okay you probably cut it but you can if you're careful just use your finger and bring it back up again and then we're going to turn it around again just trying to make sure we can't see that gold board I might regret that gold board, you know. And then we'll put this one on a little bit further. So we'll go on, say, about there with this one, like so. So this is a nice project if you just fancy having a go with colours and just see see how you get on. OK, but what I'm trying not to do is do the whole thing. I just want to do sections. OK, not quite done it again. Missed out the bit in the middle. Press it down again. There we go very similar to before so we've kind of got that which I think is quite nice because it's not all on it's not all off um, look at it in a slightly more modern way I guess right I'm just going to no I'm not going to do it with that piece of kitchen roll because it's got purple all over it just clean up the table for a second and then we're going to so we're using this cutter here which is the sunflower cutter we have got it on the website I also teach this one so if you're a beginner and you want to have a go at cake painting an actual sunflower and get all the colors right then we've got a kit that includes all the, the colors for this which is a sunflower painting kit on our website and then we have got a lesson as well which is a brilliant lesson and Sharon who's actually on at the moment I'm sure it was Sharon did an amazing um, sunflower cake and it was fantastic using this so have a look um, it was a really lovely cake. Oh, Sharon's going to be sitting there going, it was me, it was me. It was definitely you, Sharon, because I remember looking at it and thinking, that is so lovely. She did a really good job. Right, so we're going to bring in the, the chrome food warmer. Let me just move this out of the way. And my dreaded matches, which every time I curse when I go on. Um, no, the sunflower cutter's completely on its own. It's got a couple of leaves with it. Um, but we do a painting kit for this as well. So if you want to do it the actual sunflower colours, there is a sunflower painting kit and then there is a lesson on the site. Unfortunately, our website is split into two. So we have two, two separate sites. We have a teaching school and we have um, a product site. So you buy products from one, then you have to move to the other site to get your lesson. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a pain. Um, but it's the way we have to work. Um, so this cutter, yeah, is the sunflower cutter. It's a beautiful cutter. 
think it's called Big Sunflowers or something like that. Now, for those of you that have not seen Cocoa Butter Painting before, then we are using one of these, which is a chrome food warmer. You get these on Amazon. We do not sell them and neither do Sugar and Crumbs, but you can go onto Amazon. You can put in the words chrome food warmer and lo and behold, up will come one of these. And it's got a tea light in the middle. I'm gonna, oh, I did it in one today, unbelievable. So then I'm going to light the tea light in the middle and that's the only piece of equipment that you will need um, to keep uh, refilling. So you'll need to buy a bag of tea lights, which is very cheap. And then you're going to put your metal paint palette on top and that is what's going to create your heat source so that's very important um, that you have one of these on there now my candle is quite big and new so this is getting very hot very quickly um, you want to keep your hands off it because it can get very very warm and i'm just going to put some cocoa butter on there and you'll literally be able to watch it melt on camera so i'm going to put two separate areas one on the other side but i'll turn that one around when i get that far i'm going to actually move this out of the way for the minute because the minute i start putting dusts on anything it flies all over the place so we're going to use four colors for this we're going to be using regal purple again these are all wonder dusts or wonder yeah yeah wonder dusts i keep thinking they're called something else but they're not wonder dusts now i need one of those spoons before anybody says anything because i know i'll end up chucking it everywhere but we're going to put down a fair amount because there's a good reason with this what i find with um, any painting with luster dust is they really grab the color so what you find is that you're going to go through a lot more product than you would do if it's a matte dust so by a matte dust i mean something that is not shiny or luster so luster dusts have got a bit of a tint about them so i'm just tipping some of this onto the other side which is the violet mist um let me show you what a matte one is so a matte dust would be something like this this is primrose it's flat matte and that's exactly what it is um that this does not need as much cocoa butter as the luster dusts you're going to find that the you're going to get through more paint i think that's what i'm trying to tell you now i'm going to put two gold well i've got a gold and a bronze i'm very keen on this in fact i'm going through the um sparkling gold quite quickly large hint carol i need i need some more <laughs> And then this one here, which is the bronze one. So I'm just going to put, I'm, I'm off camera at the minute. Just have to take my word for it for a minute. I'm going to turn it around until we need to use that bit. So there we go. All right. So we've got everything lined up. Now I teach with uh, my own paintbrushes. I'm just going to go and wash my hands because they are covered in everything under the sun. Hold on. That's better. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with very sticky hands. So I teach painting classes and because I teach painting glasses, I use um, paint brushes with numbers on them. And that helps me to then be able to make sure that you've got the right piece of equipment in your hand when you're doing my projects. So our paint brushes are numbered. So we have um, how I'm going to use paintbrush. Um, I've got paintbrush zero out. To be honest, I'm not too sure whether I need that one or not. I think I may do. I've got paintbrush zero one, and this is actually paintbrush two, which unbelievably um, you can hardly read it, and that's because it's the one we use the most. But they're all labelled so that I will now say I'm now going to use paintbrush number two, and that helps people to know exactly then what it is that I'm going to be doing. So let's pull this forward, so we can now go back on screen with this. And let's start painting this. So I'm going to put the sunflower cutter there. Um, we're going to start with paintbrush one, I think, looking at this. In fact, it might all be with paintbrush one and zero rather than two. Because the detail on this is a bit smaller. Oh, no, we'll use two for the middle. So for the petals, we're going to use paintbrush number one um, because they're a little bit narrow and I don't particularly want to um, ruin them. Now, what I'm hoping is when I do this, that fingers crossed, by the time I get round to coming back again um, to go over it for a second time, it should all dry. Um, it's the heat or the humidity that will stop it drying. So you can see I'm dipping this in the cocoa butter and then into this um, luster colour. As I've said to you before, it does require a bigger mix than it does with the matte colours in all cases so any other matte colour doesn't matter what brand it is likewise with luster it doesn't matter what brand it is you will need more of it so we're going to start with um, the petals on this now earlier when I set this up I did these on the outside one so if you look at this particular um, sunflower we're going to we're not going to have it as a sunflower today we're going to paint it as something else um, we're going to do every other one we're going to do in the purple. So we're not going to do them all um, purple. We're going to leave the other ones to be lilac, like so. Now, 
you can sometimes get away with doing this in one but what I found is they are better over painted a second time so I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to come back and do it as a second time as well um, and so the petals you could go for all the front facing ones but you are going to find you've got a bit of a, a kind of you know is one there one there then you need to go to cross there so it's a bit all over the place with this so just use your best judgment with this that's all I can say with this is just use your judgment and paint where you think that they should be I mean, I'm thinking out loud here now because um, it's Pride Month. Maybe this would look really nice if it was all painted the Pride colours. You could do all the colours of the rainbow on this. I think that would look amazing on a cake. So if anybody is thinking, oh, what else could I do? Well, there you go. How about that? You could do red and yellow and blue and whatever all the colours are. That would look amazing on a cake, I think. So, you know, just because it's got the word sunflower cutter on it, doesn't mean to say that you need to keep it as a sunflower cutter you can do anything with these you don't have to stick to what it says on the packet and I'm quite sort of keen on making sure that people I'm going to turn that around that people look at this and go oh actually yeah I could do that and try and think a little bit outside the box with this um, it it does make a bit more sense if you can do something like that I think personally anyway that's what I'm going to be doing anyway so we're going to go for that but I think the rainbow colours would look really nice so if anybody wants to have a go at that and then post it on sugar and crumbs or I have another Facebook page called um, Tracy Man Cake Demonstrations which basically has got all my lives on it as well and people post on there lots of things that they've perhaps bought and used from us as well so if you fancy posting it on there and seeing how that goes that would be interesting interesting too I'd like to see how that looks so yeah give it a go see what you can come up with or you could do this as like pastel colors you know maybe treat this as a sort of more kind of like um it's not quite a gerber is it but you know a big daisy type flower maybe it doesn't have to be a sunflower we can we can turn it away from that a little bit so you can see how nicely these colours are going on. Now bear in mind I've got lilac underneath so it's automatically going to pick up um, the colour a little bit better than it would do if it was the other way round. So I've done this on white, but you definitely need a second coat if you do it on a white base. Um, because I've already got a bit of a tint going on, um, as in I've got the lilac underneath, then it sort of kind of helps it on its way. Um, and if you find that it's starting to get a bit streaky or the colours are looking a bit dull, then go back and mix more. Yeah, Dahlia, there's another one. There's all sorts of things you could do with this. That I think would make it look really pretty. I'm going to carry on with these front ones here and this will make a bit more sense in a minute when I've painted the other ones on. Um, as you'll see them appear behind. So we're kind of trying to go for the purpley ones at the front and we'll go for the um, lilac -y ones at the back and then we're going to add some bits and pieces on as well to kind of bling it all up a bit. Having a bit of a bling week actually I think aren't we? We'll turn that like that. That what I will do is I'm going to go back and do this one here and then I will paint the ones directly behind. So yeah if you find your colours getting really weak look at the mix that you've got and it gets weak quite quickly so all of a sudden you you look down and go oh hold on a minute that's gone really really weak and you've probably painted a load of it you need to go back and just go over it again um, and that's how I tend to find that with painting goes we're going to do that one as well. So it's just a case of working it out, seeing what looks right and what doesn't look right. But when I did this the first time, I tended to keep the lilac ones behind and then focused more on the kind of purpley ones there, which is what I'm doing at the moment. And we'll see how it goes, see what happens. I did a trial run, but my trial runs are always quite small. <laughs> As in like about a quarter of a sunflower. So we'll see we will see right let's go around this side let's go across this way but remember we're changing this flower so even though it's a sunflower we're now going for a slightly well we're going more fantasy flower aren't we really I think that's what we've got to describe this as haven't we fantasy flower can't think of another way of describing it it's not really a true flower is it so um we'll go this way but yeah if you um if you do have a go at doing this and you want to post on my um, Tracy Man Cake Demonstrations page. You're very welcome. I, I really quite like to see what people get up to with our 
cutters and things. If I had more time in the day, honestly, I would spend a lot more time going crazy with them all. There isn't enough. Now you can see on here, I don't know if you can see on camera that well, the coverage is okay, but it can get better. All right, so what we're going to do is come back to it. Now when you come back and do a second um, lot of painting, so you go over it for a second time, you're going to find that the coverage is not only quicker, but it covers it much better. So don't just give up. If you do layer one and then you think, oh, I don't know, it's, it's not great, go back and do it again and you'll find it will change dramatically. Right, I'm just trying to work this out here. Okay, where have we got to? So that's that bit there, so that is that bit there. It doesn't matter to be perfectly honest, as long as we've got the rough idea of what's going on. We can leave little gaps, paint that one there, cross like so. There we go, that's fine. There are such minor gaps on the outside edge anyway, you probably wouldn't even notice, so that's fine. There we go. We'll leave that for the moment and we'll come back to it and then decide what other colours we want to put in later on. But we're going to leave that to dry and we'll move around this side and continue with the same colour. So you can move around when you do. Um, yeah, it's like snazzy colouring. Um, <laughs> you can move around when you do this. You don't have to stick um, to painting the same area. So don't have to sit there waiting for it to dry. You can move on and carry on with the same colour, but in a different area. And then that means that, you know, you're not then sat there wasting time and thinking, oh, God, I wish it would hurry up and dry. It will dry, but it just needs a little bit of time. And at the moment, because it's a little bit warmer than it normally is, it's going to take a little bit longer um, than it normally does. So normally um, cocoa butter painting is very quick. I've got a little bit of icing sugar in there. Let me just see if I can tap that out. No, that didn't come. Oh, well. Um, yeah, cocoa butter painting normally takes about one to two minutes to dry. I'd say it's taking more of like three to four at the moment. Um, so it is taking a little bit longer than it is normally. So there we go. But that's OK. That's fine. Just have to have a bit more sort of organisation and patience, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But just hold on tight and I did teach I do a macron painting class again which is on the cake school um, we did teach that in searing heat it was so hot the day I taught that class I'm not joking it was absolutely roasting hot and we did manage it we did manage to do the class um, and all I kept doing was popping the macarons into the fridge and letting them set in between so we had like four macarons on the go we just kept rotating them and they did set and they were absolutely fine. So it doesn't matter what the weather is. Just don't store things in the fridge. Storing things in the fridge is bad news. Please do not do that because it's not going to help them. And that's everything. Chocolate, sugar paste. OK, you can store products you've made like buttercream if you particularly want to. But please do not store finished cakes in fridges because they don't like it condensation all sorts of problems so keep try and keep everything at room temperature if you can be much better for you um what we're going to do with this what did i do on that one okay we're going to just add i'm umming and ahhing now i'll come back to that one i might leave that one a bit more like that let's go to this one i can always change my mind you see so if i start painting it and go no actually i think i prefer that one to be a sort of more dark just a purpley colour, I can go back and change it. There are no rules. I can just paint over it like so. But it doesn't take too long to do. And remember, it's all laid out for you. So somebody said, what, well, painting by numbers or whatever. It's totally painting by numbers. And that's this. the joy of this, is that it's giving you an opportunity to have a go at painting without stressing yourself out too much because you have already got a guideline here and that's quite important actually because sometimes just doing this I'm not going to say mindlessly but without having to apply too much sort of heavy thought on how to paint it it is actually quite a nice thing to do painting is very relaxing I paint as a hobby as well I know honestly um, if I'm not painting cakes I'm painting acrylic um, and then it always ends up as a cake literally every time I do it. So I go, oh, that would look nice on a cake. And then off I go. And before you know it, you've got another new class. So it's beneficial to you, really, <laughs> how I spend my weekends. Um, yeah, so painting itself. So if you've never had a go and you fancy having a go, um, we've got a nice little kit that will help you as well with everything included to get you started. So there's lots of nice 
simple classes on my site as well we have obviously I do these on sugar and crumbs which are free and then we have those on YouTube as well and then we also have um, our classes which start from as little as like five pounds we do payment plans as well so if you are somebody who's desperate to do one of our classes as long as it's listed as a payment plan and those classes are like royal icing um I'm trying to think of the other ones royal icing beginners floral is another one or you can pick three or four classes and pop them all together then you can do that as well more than happy to just need to drop me an email and I'll sort that out for you. You just pay over two or three months. That's as large as the plans get. But um, yeah, makes it a little bit easier for you. That's fine by me. So there we go. So we're heading across here like so. So you can see the coverage isn't too bad. In fact, I'm looking at the camera now because that's the bit I can hear. Um, I'm just having a look yeah you can see slightly differently to what I can see on here so for me it's quite good to look up and have a look at the camera every so often and see what's going on it's coming out quite I'm just seeing what the coverage is on camera it's pretty good actually pretty good but I like the sort of um, lilac background I think that looks really nice with this and it's quite modern as well it's not just accepting the sunflower as as one sort of item I've kind of cut it in half a little bit because I think that looks a bit better than having it as a whole just for something like this but if you wanted to do the outside edge of a cake board with a sort of slightly modern pattern I guess then you know you could use this I'm having to guess this little bit down here because I can't quite honestly tell you what's going on um, where are we I think that belongs to that doesn't really matter to be honest it's such a little bit there so that's um all of that done i think if i want to do anything else actually i might just do that one there no i won't i'll come back to that one or shall i i don't know i'm making this up <laughs> i'm winging it badly that's no, fine okay so that's the last one we finished with now if i go over here this is the first one we did okay it's it's dry that's good so we'll go back to the first one we did now we've done layer one already so let's have another go and put in another layer it's a lovely color isn't it really nice color and then what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll just go over it again let's have a look on camera it should make a difference hopefully yeah it does look like material doesn't it I, we have an amazing fabric shop nearby. Well, I say it's nearby, it's like 40 minutes away. Oh my God, it's amazing. I've never seen so many fabrics ever. And I end up going in there and buying all these fat quarters and they end up all as cakes. So I don't end up going in there and buying fabric to make stuff. Although I can make stuff, I'm not completely useless. I can make um, sewing bits and pieces, but yeah, none of it tends to end up as sewing. I always end up going, oh, that would look nice on a cake. And oh, that would look nice on a cake. And um using that as kind of inspiration wrapping paper is another really good one if you ever have a look at sort of bits of wrapping paper wallpaper those kind of things um they always look really nice on cake so just have a little look around so go and be in q or wherever it is you live and just see what you can find but hopefully this color hopefully she says let's have a look yeah it should be getting a bit darker should be if i get my ratios up enough so you can literally just go over it a second time. It's much quicker on the second go because obviously you've already got your colour down. So literally just go straight over the top, tidy it up a little bit if you're throwing paint around all over the place like me. I'm just going to have another look on camera and see what it looks like. Yeah, good fabric shop. I know a lot of the fabric shops are online, aren't they? Which is fine, but this one we've got is amazing. Kelly and I go over there um, and it's it's fantastic. It's over in a place called Abingdon. Um, and it's amazing oh my goodness me I haven't been over actually since the um, since they reopened I must go and have a look it's a very I just find going over there sometimes and going to look at some different things that aren't necessarily cake related can actually be really quite sort of inspiring and you go oh yeah I could do that and then before you know it we've got a whole new load of cake ideas coming out out of fabric <laughs> 
it is a lovely colour, this one, isn't it? So if you've just joined me or you don't know what I'm doing, I'm using Wonder Dust Regal Purple, I think this one is. Regal something. Yes, it is. Regal Purple. Well remembered me. So there we go. So that's it over a second go. So if you compare it to the others, you can see a bit of a difference. Let's go round to this one. Yes, you can definitely see a difference. It's a little bit darker. A little bit more intense. I guess it just kind of depends how intense you want this to be. Um, I'm actually going to add a couple of extra petal colours in here because I've missed a few on this one. Let's go back and put this one in. It doesn't quite work out as every other one. It's sort of every other one, but you can work it out. It's fine. But I might paint this up as a rainbow one, actually. I quite fancy doing that. Maybe I'll do that as a Facebook Live and see how it goes. Now I've set that idea in my head. I want to do it, you see. This is the problem. <laughs> I've, made that, I've made that suggestion to myself now, so I think maybe I will do that. Let's give that a go and see how that turns out. I just want to see how it turns out more than anything else. Curious. I'm curious to see what happens. So we'll go over that one. How are we doing? Yeah, happy with that. Colours of your bridesmaid dress is lovely. Nice purpley colour. Sort of a Cadbury's purple, isn't it? That's why I kind of describe this colour. All relatable back to chocolate obviously now I've run out or I'm nearly out of this color so I'm it's getting quite thin I can feel it's getting quite thin I might just about manage it but you can see what I mean about going through a bit a bit more color than you perhaps would do normally um, with this so the pots are quite big so I think you'll be okay for a while I don't know how many has it got a measurement on it let's have a look five grams so what's that in terms of other pots? I think the other pots are listed in two grams. I've got a feeling they're two. Yeah, they are. So they're two and that's five. So it's quite a big difference. But again, with luster dust, you do need more of it. Um, you really do. Where did I get to? Round here somewhere. I've forgotten now. Right, that's because I was talking. Don't let me talk. <laughs> I get distracted then, you see. But yeah, it's a nice colour, isn't it? It's a very nice colour. Okay, round we go. So, we'll head down that way. So I've got another mould that I'm going to use these dusts on next week. I'm going to look at, I'm going to try, I'm going to try in my mind, I've decided I'm going to do a princess cake next week. So we're going to do, I say princess themed, so tiara, uh, princess lolly, kind of one of those kind of stacked cakes, or well not stacked, but tall cakes with princess things on it. So we're going to try and do that on Tuesday night. That's the aim. So if anybody wants to tune in on Tuesday night, I'm going to do that going to make a few bits up in advance on Saturday, so I'll do those live. Otherwise, I won't have time to complete the whole thing, and then I'll be annoyed. I'm going to paint this one because I need to paint it, I've decided. So, yeah, I'll be starting some of the project work on Saturday, and then Tuesday we'll complete it. I think that will be quite nice, won't it? And the forecast isn't too hot, so that's all right. It's enough that we can have a nice time without it getting too warm. Right, okay, so there we go. Let's have a little look on camera and see what it looks like. Yeah, the cocoa butter is really showing these dusts off, isn't it? So I think we'll kind of go with that. Shall we go with that? Am I happy with that? I think so. Well, let's put the other colour in and if we're not happy, we can change it, can't we? So let's turn this around. Gosh, that's hot, 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 hot. And the colour we're going to use now is, now where is it? Violet Mist. Okay, so it's still another one of Carol's Wonder Dusts. Violet mist, everybody. Okay, and then we're going to dip that in the cocoa butter and pick this colour up. Now it's much paler, this colour, more lilac y, I guess, or violet colour. Um, I think it's slightly on the blue side, to be honest, but it goes quite nicely with this colour. And it then, you'll see when it goes on. You might just want to do these all purple. 
but I just thought I'd try it with these um, different ones as it is. I'm going to do this one first because this is the one that's most similar to the trial run that I did. So I'm just going to paint these ones behind like so. So the dominating colour I wanted to be this purple colour, but I thought actually putting this colour in behind, it just really picks it up. So you can see I'm still using paintbrush number one. Anybody's wondering if I've changed brushes, I haven't, okay. So yeah, this one is uh, Wonder Dust. So we don't sell these on my site. So Tracy's Cakes, we don't sell them. They're on Sugar and Crumbs. We do have lessons on sunflower painting, which is on my school site. There we go. That's quite nice there, you see, because look, that colour's coming through at the bottom there. So it's kind of being dragged through into the design. So I like that. I think that looks nice. And I think that's coming on really well. Yeah, really nice. It is a very nice colour, this one. But say value for money, I'd say these are pretty good in terms of the amount you get. For what you're going to do but please be aware you will go through more color 100% you're going to go through more um, purely because it's you need more to paint it's just luster dust it's just the way it is and that's all because I'm doing a bigger area it's just because of how it is but it does sit very nicely um, luster dust when you paint larger areas it actually sits a little bit better than some of the matte colors because um, it's a bit flatter I think it does anyway, it's better coverage. Let's have a look at that on there. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm quite pleased with that. I'll go in the middle there. So don't forget I've done this on a lilac base because I know a lot of you will go, wow, that looks amazing, and then go off and have a go and then forget that I did a lilac base to start with. So we used violet colour splash at the start. Okay. Let's do this one. Maybe you have a few more extra sort of violety ones on this side. And that's the thing as well. You don't have to make them match. So let's make this one a little bit more um, violet petals, I guess, so that they can then sort of pick up and contrast a little bit. You could do this, imagine this on top of a cake. So you can imagine doing this on top of a cake. So if you've done, if you, especially if you've done a ganached cake, you would need to do a ganache cake. Um, roll out your sugar paste. Um, and let, then you need to press this um, sunflower in before the sugar paste sets. Uh, otherwise, it won't look very nice. It won't work. So you must do it before it sets. But I think that will be a really nice cake topper, wouldn't it? And don't forget, this board's not very big. It's only a seven inch round board. So if you're going to have to write the words happy birthday or whatever you want to write on there, you can move this out. All right. So if you're doing, say, like a 10 inch round cake or something, and then you could do one on the board to match so that when you've got your, so you've covered your cake in your lilac colour and your board in the lilac colour, you've got this on the top and then a couple maybe on the board. That would look really nice. It'd look quite flash, wouldn't it? I just think they're quite modern colours. So you could use the pink colours that I used the other night. Um, so I use the, oh, Tracy, what's the name of these things? Anyone got a memory I can borrow? Um, <laughs> Mulberry Crush and Shimmer Pink which are the other two colours that I use. They were really nice as well. But I do find that the gold colours help lift anything like this. So we're going to use that shortly. Um, and let's see what happens there. But I think I'm liking the way this turns out and they're not all the same. What I was trying to avoid was them looking too sort of samey. So I quite like the fact I can see a little bit more lilac on this one, or violet, I should say. I shouldn't keep calling it lilac. It's not lilac, it's violet. There we go. I like it. <laughs> yeah, my memory is so bad, I can't even tell you. I can't remember anything. It's absolutely hopeless. I have to write everything down. Then I can't remember the piece of paper where I put it. So, yeah, I'm fighting, <laughs> fighting severe memory loss. Oh, dear. Terrible. Never mind. There you go. You see, that looks really nice. I'm happy with that. Let's turn that around. And we'll just do a few little ones on this one. This is very light fabric, isn't it? Very, very much so. Or, or some of that flashy wallpaper, you know. 
So yeah, you can either do a bit more like I've done on that one or you can do a bit less like I've kind of done on these other two here. And so don't forget you've got little bits that come through the bottom there, which is nice because it kind of picks it all up. But yeah, it's nice, isn't it? See, I don't normally get to do these projects as big as this until I go live. So I do little like test patches just to kind of go, yep, that works. And then off we go and see what it turns out like. But I really like this. I think this is really nice. Now, because this is a lighter colour, it's highly unlikely that I'm going to need to go over it a second time. It's only the darker colours, this colour, that you would need to go over a second time if you want to. So just bear that in mind. Um, you should be OK for that. Now, we're going to leave all the flower to dry and we're going to work on the middle. Um, and then we're going to come back and do a little bit more magic with the um, outside edge. Yeah, I really like this, actually. I'm quite pleased with myself. <laughs> Right, let's turn this around. Hot, very, very hot. You do this, be careful. Right, we've got two colours here. We've got bronze and we have got um, sparkling gold. So one is called glowing bronze. The other one is, that's that one. And then this one is called sparkling gold. So that's fine. So we're going to start with sparkling gold, which honestly I think is my favourite. I've had a look at all the golds and this is definitely the one I've gone straight for so it clearly must be and then all I'm going to do actually I'm still using paintbrush one in fact I haven't changed my brush I don't think so that's okay we're going to just paint the middle and then we're going to add some different color to it so we're going to paint that middle to start with don't forget it's a little bit bumpy where the embosser has uh, made the center of this flower so we're just going to have to kind of push the paint in a little bit so if you just paint it flat you're going to find it's not going to go in so you just need to kind of tap your paintbrush a little bit just to get that color to go in okay but I would think this would look nice with silver as well so purple and silver is always a really nice combination but I haven't got a silver paint I'm not too sure why whether or not Carol's not done one or whether there's none in stock I don't know but when I rang up and said send me some stuff but make sure it's in stock so that one didn't arrive so maybe there isn't one I need to investigate but I'm hoping we'll have these one day to sell too because they're really nice there we go so we'll do that one first then we'll move to the others as with anything with cake painting, it's never over until the final details. And it's so important, these final details, they make all the difference. So um, bear with me because you will love it when it's finished. You'll be thinking, oh, I never thought of doing that. And then it suddenly changes everything. And um, yeah, so I'm just you can kind of see I'm just kind of scrubbing the brush a little bit you can use a bigger brush if you want to if you want to switch over to paintbrush number two at this point you can that would be fine if you want to do it like that oh it's lovely lovely colors it is isn't it oh no doe's watching i'm going to trigger her again with her <laughs> painting <laughs> oh, i'm sorry you're going to want to do this now aren't you there's a little addiction there, I think, going on. Although I think that I think you're I think Doe's my painting addiction. Um, Gillian is my cookie addiction. She likes her cookies. There we go. See, that looks good. Now let's go around to this one. We'll do this one as well. And then we're going to go back and continue doing other stuff with it all. There we go. Very nice. Isn't that nice and bright? It's really lovely and bright. I'm glad you're enjoying your live. Good. I'm pleased about that. Yeah, luster silver must be out of stock because you see, I have to say I'm more of a silver person than I am gold. But because I've been sent gold, I thought, OK, I can do gold. And actually, purple and gold is nice. So that's all right. But I think if I hadn't been sent gold, I probably would have gone straight for silver because that's just kind of me, I think. It's where I would have morphed over to. But I think that is actually working really well. Yeah, the idea was not to say wave all these lovely colours under your nose and then not be able to get them because that's really annoying, isn't it? You want to be able to see see them and then have a go. Right, nearly there. Okay, so that's the first layer of that. That looks lovely, doesn't it? I'm very pleased with that. Right, let's turn this back round. 
Now we're going to go to the bronze colour and I'm sorry I've just missed a bit over there. We're going to go to the bronze colour and we're going to put the centre of the sunflower in and the outside edge of it because we don't want to just leave it blank like this. So we're going to get our brush. I'm not going to bother to clean it to be perfectly honest. I'm just going to go straight for the bronze. Okay so we're going to dip it straight in there and then what we're going to do I've got to make sure I'm over the top of this is we're going to put in a centre so we're going to go round and round and round with some of the bronze like so it's probably going to come out better on camera than what I can see let's put in a bit more so it's going to be subtle yes you can see it wonderful so it's going to be subtle it's not going to be like you know this suddenly great big chunky dark colour in the middle we don't want that and then we're going to put this round the outside edge so we're going to go round with the bronze and just tap it round the outside edge of the sunflower like so this is when these details start to make all the difference okay so we'll take the bronze and go round there look can you see how much that's changing it look at that one versus that one it is just subtle but absolutely lovely right hold on i picked up gold by accident then let's go back to the bronze Again, I'm still going through quite a lot of colour. So all I'm doing is just tapping the colour, going all the way around the outside edge. Okay. And then we're just taking that and just tapping the colour into the centre. Like that. So we're just building it up a little bit now. Let me have a look back on camera. Yep. Perfect. Right, let's go down to this one. Bearing in mind that obviously you can't see half of this, so you're just going to put in roughly where it should be, which should be about there, I would imagine. And then we'll go around the outside edge again. So just tap it in. Like so, backwards and forwards until we've built up a bit of colour. Yep, love it. Okay. Baby shower cupcake board. Let's have a look at this. I might do this to the board. Yeah, this would look really nice, wouldn't it? On, I think on the board, it's just very dramatic. You don't have to say, you don't have to do it with these luster colours. You can do it with with anything. But what I'm trying to do is say, look, okay, we've we've got the sunflower cutter here, but it doesn't have to be a sunflower. It can be anything. You know, there's no rules. You know, if you've got a cutter in your box, get it out and just go wrong well, I'm going to paint that pink today doesn't matter does it okay and then we'll pop that one in the middle like so so round we go just keep letting it build up the color it's subtle without being too kind of in your face now I'm going to go back to this one which is now dried and build that color up a bit more so it should start coming out a bit more on camera yes it is that's what we want so when it's dried you see you can get more intensity with the color by then going back and going around it again it's just a bit of a waiting game just to make sure you've got your depth of color there and that see that looks so much better than just having it as a flat color by just adding in this extra sort of tone i guess or different color it's bronze isn't it it's not gold Let's go back over here. I want to build this one up again. I'm going to have to come back over here because I've got a bit of, I can see some white, or not white, but some of the sugar paste underneath. So I'll go back and do that one again in a second. Now, because I'm going back to a lighter colour, I will change my, I uh, will clean my brush because if I don't, um, then I will have a bit of a problem. <laughs> I'm reading Nikki's comment there. That made me laugh. If someone <laughs> someone said paint a sunflower, I would have still I would have said no until I showed up. Exactly. See, this is lovely. Um, Barbara, these colours are the Wonder Dust colours. They're regal purple, violet mist, um, sparkling gold, and bronze lust. That's what we're using at the moment. Or bronzed luster, not lust, luster. I'm, I keep calling them wonder lust. It's not. It's wonder dust. I'll get it right eventually. Right. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use some of these lines that we've got here. And we're going to just take some of the bright gold and then we're going to. Oh, I need to change brush. Right. That's a good point. Let's change brush here. It's like a comedy show here today. <laughs> we'll 
get there in a minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't do traditional. I try not to anyway. I'm fighting my age really because I just think, hold on a minute, let's turn this on its head and see if we can think about this in a different way. One of my, one of Kelly's friends, I'm going to talk about Ella now. So one of Kelly's friends is an art student and she says things to me like, you know, what she's going to do in her art. And I just go, why would you do that? And then when I think about it, I go, do you know what? That's amazing. And I really think listening to this girl how she interprets things is helping me as well to be honest because she she says to me I'm going to do a picture um with some toothpaste and I thought why would you do that and then she did it and I thought yeah actually I can see why you did that it's very odd but it's really clever it's a very clever mind I'm very interested in her, her train of thought um Mine's a little bit like that because I do kind of like to twist things around. So on here now I have got, uh, this is actually my zero paintbrush because this is actually quite small. And all I'm going to do is just take the brighter gold, so the one that's called sparkling gold. And we're just going to go down these lines here. So we're just kind of pulling that colour out just a little bit. We don't need to go wild with it. Might help she help if I put it in the paint and not just neat dust. Um, so just use the very tip of your brush just to run that gold through you see I found the darker one didn't show up very much the lighter one is better for this so I found the bronze just didn't really work very well this one is a little bit better um, you can see again you might have to go over twice just to bring the colour up we want to try and keep it as thin as you can. And those lines are there. So your paintbrush can just kind of slip into those little gaps. And then you can add it in from there. See what I mean? I hope you can see what I mean anyway. I'm not just amusing myself online here. <laughs> I probably am. <laughs> it's fine. Right. There we go. See how nice that looks. We're going to come back and do another thing with this in a minute anyway, but I think that kind of helps it kind of spread into the flower. I'm just going to pick that up so you can see that just in case you can't see it there. If I twist that around a little bit, can you see? There we go. You can see I put the gold. That's better if I tilt it there like that. You can see I put the gold into the little bits there. I know this is the only other thing with this, but that's what I was saying. You could do this as a cake. You don't need to do it as a cake board. I've just done it on a cake board this morning because um, I didn't want to do a cake particularly today because I did one on Tuesday. So you could do this on a cake. But what I would suggest you do is do it on a ganached cake. So don't do it on a cake that's got buttercream on it. I think you need to do a ganache cake and then you need to cover it with sugar paste and then imprint as soon as you've done that with your um, your, your sunflower cutter your patchwork cutter and then you can start painting you can't you don't have to paint on the same day the minute you've pressed your cutter in you can leave it to dry in fact it probably would be better if you leave it to dry because then you don't have this worry about leaning on cakes because sometimes I get sent pictures where people have gone oh, I couldn't wait any longer and I've painted it and it's covered in dents where their arms have been so if you can bear to leave it for sort of 24 hours um, you'll probably find it will be a, a, a better job you approve do you <laughs> it's looking good isn't it we're not quite there yet though there's always more to do i know less is more but do you know what with cake painting it's the details that count i think it is anyway so it's very important to get all these last details in sometimes when you do something you think oh i don't know it's just taking forever i'm not really happy with it but actually then if you spend a bit of time on it it looks really good now i'm going to just use my um paintbrush zero because what i want to do is just sharpen up some of the petals that i've got with the violet um, where it's gone to a point but it's not quite made it so for example here it's silly little details but i want it as sharp as i can get it so with this little paintbrush i can get right into those gaps to make sure i've painted it right to the end i need to paint a little bit more down there as well so you can kind of just go round and pull that out to the end as well or right into those crevices there if you've found it's not quite got to the end just be careful 
So I'm just checking now. I see some of them I haven't quite got to the end, which will really irritate me when I take a photo of this in about an hour's time. So I want to make sure I've done that. Likewise, the same with the purple as well. And then we, once that's dry, we're going to go back and we're going to add a bit more gold, which will make more sense when I've done it. So I'm just taking, you see what I mean about taking that right to the very end? This little brush here is very good for doing that getting right into those because it does look nicer and like more kind of neat if you are prepared to do the detail so if you're prepared to get your brush right into the little gaps so a little gap down there it's been annoying me now right that's done um it does look nicer let's have a look on camera and see what i mean yeah you see uh, biscuit toppers yep yeah, you could do it as a biscuit topper so i've just looked up and seen some comments yep yeah, absolutely so you could have a round biscuit and you could literally just clip the edge of the round biscuit with something like this that would look really nice yeah by all means give that a go see how that comes out and also any of the other patchwork cutters i mean i've been talking about them for a period of time now um like repeatedly um to kind of show you what you can do with them so yeah any of the patchwork cutters with the luster dusts um or on a biscuit or on a cake board um look very nice i'm just going to turn that around so i can get into that one there okay so then what we're going to do is just clean that up again now what i want to make sure is that i have got uh they're dry when i do this next bit it's not going to mess it all up so we're going to get the sparkling gold again because that's the brighter colour of the two. I think that's the one I used, yeah. Now we are going to do a bit less is more with this because it does look really nice but just don't get too carried away. But we need it to be quite thick. So this is my zero brush. Yes it is. I had to check then because I'd forgotten. <laughs> and then all I'm going to do on the purple ones is I'm literally going to take my brush and I'm going to sweep it down just down the top right hand side of these purple petals like that. Not very much, but I need to build it up a bit so it's not coming out as I want it to. Right, let's go back like that. There we go, that's better. So only on the purple ones at the moment. Let's see what we think. I think it will just be the purple ones. We'll want it on there. I don't think you need it on the other ones, but we're going to sort of go down. I've gone down the sort of right hand side is that right no left hand side of each petal just a little bit not too much it's like you're adding a bit of a highlight and the best thing about this is it's picking up from there so it's taking you're taking the gold from there through the flower to the edge so it kind of then makes more sense otherwise it doesn't make any sense at all and then it's you know you've kind of got this color there and then it stops so if you take it from there to there to there then it works I'm not sure if you can see this on camera that well, but I will pick this up, so don't worry. Well, it probably picks up better when I turn it. Yeah, you can see it better now. I think it's the light on this kind of thing. So now what I'm finding with this is I'm needing to make up quite a thick paint. Otherwise, it's not showing up. So I may need to go back and do it again in a second. But I'm only putting down, as you can see, a little sort of highlight on the top of there like that. I don't want any more than that. It's too much. So any of your patchwork cutters, get them out. If you've got some already, and I know there's a lot of you that have got them because you've all bought them, get your lusters out and give it a go and see what you can come up with. There we go. All right. I'm going to lift that up so you can see it under there. Can you see? If I tilt it around. It's always easier if I'm on camera to tilt these things because then you can actually see the luster colours a little bit better. Can you see them? Yeah. Do you know what? And, and Nikki just said that. That is exactly what was going through my mind when I was doing this earlier. It was the minute you add more gold, that's exactly what I was thinking. So, yeah, if you wanted to do kind of like a nice sort of sari type pattern, and there's so many beautiful, I mean, there's some amazing ones online. Go and have a look at the colours and see if you can kind of replicate it. You've got your pattern, it's just then a case of applying your colours, isn't it? But yeah, I totally agree with you on that one. But it doesn't need to be too much, just don't go mad with it. And then it just highlights it. We're going to leave the ones behind, we're not going to do those ones. 
but if it's all dry then your paint should go on no problem if it's not dry then your gold is going to blend and then you'll need to do it again so it's really important when you do this that everything is dry otherwise it's not going to work and clearly I can't see anything that's going on down there so I don't need to add any sort of gold bits down there so forget that um, you just need to be looking at the bits you can see it's so tempting so I needed to do that bit earlier it was driving me crazy um, it is tempting sometimes to go and gold here and gold here well you can't see them so don't put them there okay don't add any more that's all you need and then we'll go back to this one here and then we'll put a little bit on there as well but yeah who would have who would have thought this was a sunflower cutter I mean it's just completely on its head and I think this really highlights exactly what you can do with a little bit of different colour see that one's not going on so well and that is because there we go I need to make it a bit thicker you can see it went on there better um yeah get your sunflower cutters out get something that's labelled I don't know what else have I had uh, wild rose and paint it completely differently and then you will end up with something that you just would have never have thought of try biscuits if you can't if you don't want to cook or you haven't got time to cook go and get yourself a packet of rich tea biscuits and then get yourself some sugar paste out roll out some circles and put them on top of the biscuits and sit and paint for the afternoon see what you can come up with Get your patchwork cutters out. I know the sunflower is a huge cutter, but you don't need to use it all because clearly that's what I've shown you in this live. You can just use a section of it and still get this really lovely effect. So, yeah, the cutters on my website. I'm sure Nikki will put a link up for me. Hey, oh, she's done it already. So my little PA's in today. <laughs> Kelly's not here today. So how about that? Let me just move this all out of the way. All of that from this it's silly isn't it it's too obvious somehow you would just never in a million years think of putting all of this together to end up that into that you could only sometimes see that as a sunflower and nothing else but actually by just applying some different colors you end up with a completely different um pattern and again so i just want to recap what colors i've used if anybody wants to go rushing across to sugar and crumbs and buy them you'll know what they are um purple haze that's the was that the one i used no it wasn't was it i can't remember now purple haze regal purple regal purple was definitely right hold on it must have been that one then i need to look at it now to check no that was the pink one the other day no it's not that one don't buy that one wrong one <laughs> violet something wasn't it oh there it is it's hidden oh that's not helpful is it what am i on right here we go so that was regal purple so let me turn it upside down it's easier to see it isn't it let me bring that down so regal purple was that color violet mist was the color behind there we go now we're making sense and then we had this one which is called sparkling gold okay which is the lighter color on here and then i used this one which is glowing bronze which is the one that I used in the center. So uh, yeah, clematis, and, oh yeah, I love clematis. That's a really good one. Do you know, my car is parked right by a massive um, load of clematis. And every year I get out and take a photograph of it. I'm like the saddest person ever, but there you go. <laughs> uh, that's me to a T. So cocoa butter, um, the wonder dusts, which are three uh, there, sunflower one there, violet colored sugar paste remember this is not white so i used color splash violet to get this lovely um color to start with which i think is actually quite important because if you do it on white um you tend to find that the these colors here they need a bit of a lift and this because it's already on the same kind of color spectrum seems to make these colors sit quicker so what i'm saying is that you're not having to apply three layers um, you're implying two layers because you've already got this color scheme going on there so um particularly the darker ones if you notice on the live i didn't paint the violet one twice i only did that one once because it's a lighter color the uh, regal purple one i had to do twice to make sure it's kind of built up the color um, along there um so cocoa butter we use paintbrush one and zero for this as well and cocoa butter and then that's it so you could do it on a cake, you could do it on a board, you could do it on biscuits. You can use any of these type cutters. So patchwork cutters of any description. There's entwined roses, wild rose. Oh, I'm trying to think now. Magnolia and lace, uh, floral lace, fuchsia. There's tons of them. Um, have a go. 
get your luster dusts out and see how you get on with it and you will find a difference between these and using matte colors which will take a little bit longer um the the luster you'll go through more luster than you will do with anything else but yeah quite happy with that I mean, it does clash with my tablecloth but there we go <laughs> can't win them all can you i'll have to take a picture of that because yeah i didn't do pink today because i did pink the other day i get told off by kelly if i do all pink I'm, I'm drawn to it and unfortunately tuesday night's cake i think will be pink i'll have to try and compromise and do pastels or something else won't i i'll be in trouble otherwise <laughs> right okay so um let's put this up i will um I will be back on Tuesday evening. I'm also live on Saturday morning as well. Um, I'm going to, I'm just trying to think, I need to put these onto YouTube. I'm very behind at the moment, so I haven't done Tuesday night's one yet. So I'm going to put that onto YouTube later on today. Um, and I'll put a notification up when that's on. And this one as well. I'll probably do two for one then, won't I? <laughs> so get going and I know what I'm up to. Sometimes I get very distracted, you see. So I've had quite a lot to do this week. So it's end of our year, which is which always then indicates stock taking, which is what my least favourite thing to do. So uh, Kelly and I have been stock taking over the last couple of days and oh, believe you me, I just want that over with as fast as possible. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely not. So I'll be back um, Tuesday next week, half past six on Sugar and Crumbs. I'm going to try and do a princess cake or well, that's what I've kind of got in my mind. Uh, as in, I'm going to say princess themed. I'm not going to do one of the doll cakes with a doll in the top, although I would quite like to do one of those at some point because they look very nice. I'm going to actually do a cake with princess things on it, lots of bling and various things things um i am going to be doing maureen's just said a pastel type cake kelly watches these fascinating videos um on sort of quite japanese I suppose type cakes and cookery and there is a really really heavy duty buttercreamy pastel cake that i'm looking at at the moment um with some adaptations that i like so that may appear at some point as well um but certainly next week princess i think Unless I change my mind. Um, <laughs> no promises. Sometimes I do. Um, but there we go. So if you need any further information, there is the Tracy Brown Cake School up there. So that's where you go for your lessons. Now, if you want to go and purchase any items, then you go to tracescakes.co.uk. So we do have two separate websites. And then once you've enrolled, we'll send you various links. They're not automatically generated. It's me at the other end. So as soon as we pick it up, we'll send it. Unless I'm in Tesco's or somewhere, we'll send them over as soon as we can. <laughs> Um, I do work as fast as we can, but we're not Amazon, unfortunately. I wish we were, but we're not. Um, so there we go. I mean, it doesn't really match my dress, but there we go. Da, da, da. It's an idea, isn't it? Something different to try. So hope you all have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the sunshine while we've still got it. And I will see you on Saturday morning for those watching me on Saturday mornings or half past six on Tuesday next week. So take care. Thank you very much for joining me, my little crew. Um, thank you, Nikki, for all my links. She is excellent as Kelly is not here uh, today. And I will see you all um, next week. So take care. See you soon. Bye.